Welcome back everyone to the series on working with the Syncfusion React Data Grid. Last time you saw various options in grouping and aggregates of the React Data Grid. In this video, I will show you how to export the data grid to PDF and Excel documents. You will also see the various customization options available in exporting. I will open the example created in my getting started video for React Data Grid. You can get this example from a link provided in the description part below or watch my getting started video shown in the above card. Here I loaded the data from a local JSON file and displayed only selective columns using column customization. Now let's proceed with the steps to export this data grid into PDF and Excel file formats. First I will show you how to export the data grid into the PDF document. I will enable the toolbar of the data grid component so that I can use the PDF export option from it. For this, import toolbar from the EJ2 React Grids package, inject it to the data grid component and set an array with the value PDF export to the toolbar props. Now the toolbar with PDF export option is enabled in the data grid component. To work with the PDF export action on the data grid, I need to import the PDF export module from the EJ2 React Grids package. Inject it to the data grid component and enable the allow PDF export props. Now when I click the PDF export option in the toolbar, the data grid should be exported. So let me add a callback function to the toolbar click props. This event will be triggered when a toolbar option is clicked. So add a condition to check if the PDF export option is clicked on the toolbar. To export the data grid to a PDF document, I can simply call the built-in method of the component, which is PDF export. To call this method, I will add a reference to the grid. If the grid instance is not null, call the method grid.pdf export. In the output, when you click the PDF export button, the data grid will be exported to the PDF document. In addition to the simple PDF exporting action, you can also customize the look of the exported PDF document before it is exporting. First, I will show you how to change the file name of the PDF document. Add the settings with file name equal to invoice.pdf within the PDF export method. Now the PDF is exported with the file name invoice.pdf. You can also add a header and footer to the exported PDF document. Use the properties header and footer to achieve this. I will create a new header right at the position 0 points from the top and set the height of the header to 130 points. I can also draw text, lines, page numbers or images in the header. In this example, I will draw a text on the header. In the header content, add an array element of type text with a value of Northwind Traders, position of 0,50 from the top left corner of the header template and apply some styles to it. In the output, if you export this data grid component, you can see the header is being displayed above the data grid. Similarly, you can apply a footer for the PDF document by drawing it at the position 130 from bottom with a specific height. You may notice that while exporting to PDF, all the records in the data grid component are exported to it even if only a few records are displayed in the current page. So to export only the selected records from the current page of the document, I may need to set the export type property to current page. This will export only the records in the current page of the data grid component. Now I will show you how to create and apply a theme for the PDF document. In the theme property, I will apply a theme for the header and record. Set the font type to Calibri, font size to 10 with some additional styles. Set the font size of the record to 8 and the font name to Calibri and the font color to blue. 
In the exported PDF document, you can see the styles are being applied on the header and records. To learn more about customization options, please visit our documentation page through the link in the description part below. Next, I will show you how to export the data grid component to the Excel document. This is similar to PDF export and to work with the Excel export, first I need to import Excel export from EJ2 React Grids package. I will inject it to the data grid component and enable allow Excel export. In the toolbar, I will add another option for Excel export. In the output, you can see the Excel export option is displayed in the toolbar. When clicking this button, the toolbar click callback function will be called. So I will add a condition to check if the item ID contains Excel export and then I will call the Excel export method. Now in the output, when I click the Excel export, the data grid is exported to the Excel document. Just like with the PDF export, I can customize the exporting Excel document. Using the file name option within the Excel export method, I can change the file name of the exporting Excel document. To add a header and footer to the Excel document being exported, I need to add them as rows and cells. Now I will add a single header row using the header option. In the rows property, add a cell with a column span of 4, a value of North Wind Traders and some style properties. In the output, you can see the header is added to the exported Excel document with the provided customization. Similarly, you can add a footer using the footer option. For exporting only the current page to an Excel document, set the export type to current page. Applying a theme is similar to PDF exporting. So copy the theme applied to the PDF document and assign it to the Excel export method. In the output, you can see the specified theme applied to the Excel document. To learn more about customization options, please visit our documentation page through the link in the description part below. Let me summarize what we saw in this video. We first saw how to enable PDF exporting in the data grid component and exported grid data to a PDF document. Next, we saw the different customization options available in the PDF export. Then we saw how to enable Excel export in the data grid component and exported the grid data to the Excel document. Finally, we saw the different customization options available in the Excel export. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel to watch similar videos. Thank you.